iframes is there to basically deny all that damage, but let's take a look at the MVP highlights. I mean, this is gonna be a long highlight here, so buckle up. Game number one, we see just incredible plays coming off from Team Hawk. Immaculate macro, and I think, you know, Incendio, they caught wind of a lot of the habits in the drafting patterns coming in from Team Hawk. Yeah, look at that Fanny. Oh my god, Gary in game one. But Incendio, find the trick to ban the Fanny away. They're like, yeah. okay, we play the Blacklist strategy, the ultimate bonding experience. Let's make sure I would take this guy away. He's too crazy on the Fanny. The cable is too hard to deal with. The macro was insane. So let's just get rid of it, you know? So despite the so mm -hmm. much pressure, it's insurmountable amount of pressure, I would say. You know, I think the entire side of the Incendio just played out of their mind. They require a lot of courage, a lot of uh, just resilience. Not only just that they played out of their mind, mind you, right? I feel like Incendio, uh, Supremacy, they literally adapted on that very stage, going through literally Ooh. the meta, converting from one meta to the other while sticking through their guns. They realized what Team Hawk is weak at, and they took it away. I was actually very surprised that Team Hawk did not pick any form of, you know, very quick assassin that could rotate from one lane to another. That's where, you know, that's their identity. Team Hawk unable to do so. Well, I mean, to be fair, even, I, uh, even Incendio, supremacy they understood we don't want you to do that yeah. and we force you on something that's like less than perfect which is enough of an advantage Hayabusa is not as fast as Fanny and Ling and that's just fact oh my god look at this clean sweep 